You may remember a story we ran a while back about diving with sharks. It was produced by VOA TV's Zulima Palacio. Zulima has always loved the ocean and been fascinated by the creatures that live in it. Recently, beside a coral reef off the Florida coast, Zulima married the other love of her life. His name is Chris Condetti. So, with our best wishes to Zulima and Chris, it's our pleasure to invite you to the Underwater Wedding Tale, produced by VOA TV's Jeff Swicord. <laughs> the bride and groom sharing cake at their wedding reception, one of many wedding traditions. But Zulima Palacio and Chris Condetti's wedding was very untraditional. And that, you might say, is an understatement. As in, under the ocean. They chose to get married eight meters down in the waters off Key Largo, Florida. Zulima says the decision to get married underwater was a compromise. It was like a middle ground. Chris wanted a church, something big, and ugh, and it scared me. And uh, so I decided that a middle ground would be something that we both like. It's a very spiritual experience to be under the sea. The wedding party, consisting of a few close friends, assembled on the sandy bottom. Zulima and Chris were married by Captain Slate Spencer, a noted local personality and one of the pioneers of diving in Key Largo, Florida. I call him and I immediately like him. And he was willing to do everything and make everything easy and fun. And that's what we wanted. Captain Slate's first underwater wedding was performed in 1978. This will be his 120th wedding. Most of them performed here, beside the Statue of Christ of the Abyss. We had never been there. I had seen it in pictures, and I thought it was pretty. But when we got there, my heart went, <gasps> how beautiful. This is much nicer than we ever expected and ever dreamed. The Christ of the Abyss statue was a gift from Italian diving legend Egidi di Cressi to the Underwater Society of America. As the wedding party assembles beside and above the statue, Captain Slate begins to read the vows, pointing with his finger. Then, Zulima and Chris sign, I do. Zulima says her greatest fear was exchanging the rings underwater. Oh, it was a subject of conversation for a long time. What if the rings fall off and everybody is there, you know, heads down looking for the rings in the middle of the coral reef? <laughs> With an underwater kiss, the ceremony is complete. Then there is time to enjoy the surroundings and the many creatures that inhabit the ocean. I think I will never go to a church after being in the water. I think it is the most beautiful way to get married. I find it a lot more uh, passionate, natural, and absolutely more spiritual than anything else. Eight meters underwater off the Florida Keys, Jeff Swicord, VOA TV. Our congratulations to them both.